guys, Dorota Palitska, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to be playing with some cute Easter nails. How do we preview them in here? Yes, that's some sort of bunnies jumping out from the eggs and I hope you really enjoy this tutorial and you will learn something new. So let's start. We are going to play with those cute nails. I'm actually excited, guys, like really excited. 222, which is a seashell. That's a nice gray, and I thought it will be a perfect one for an Easter bunny. And to spin up our work, we are going to use the watercolor brush. So pick up this color, and, and we're going to create some cracked egg kind of thing. So what you want to do it is just paint some bracket places like this. Okay, so we've got a nice cracked places here. And then we are going to cook it. Do the same on the second tip. It's almost like painting um, either a flower or a sun. No, just those cracked places. Just like this. Actually, let's do it. Uh, no, let's do it three. So we've got three different colors. And we could customize them a little bit like so each one is slightly different. And since I didn't have like the watercolor brush, guys, my painting was taking so long um, before. Um, now it's so much faster. So I do really recommend to any of you who is scared to use like a um, um, large brush to start using it. It's just speeding up your work so much. Okay, so the next step is to grab some white and then paint eyes. make them de pretty decent I would say and I'm using a uh, dotting tool but again you could use the large brush okay so we've got two in here then here let's make those one placed in different position so this ones are looking up the way just so everyone is different. There we are. And then another two. So let's make those ones in a slightly different shape. So the previous ones have been rounded and then these ones are going to be a different shape. Okay, so they're more straight on the bottom. more straight on the bottom. Step number two. So we've got the eyes and then we want to paint the actual egg. I do love this color, that's 202, which is a nice turquoise. Really nice one. And we are going to Paint the shape on the top. So just go in between those cracks. Again, painting with so much bigger brush is so much faster. There we are. And 
when we painted those gray parts, like you can see it, I'm changing the shape of it a little bit if it's necessary. Okay, now get it into an egg shape. Go into those cracks. And like with everything, things look really funny until we, <laughs> we don't add the detail. So here we are, kick it in. The first egg is kind of showing up. Next one, we are going to do it. Uh, this one, let's do maybe yellow? No, orange. Let's do orange. It's a green one. I love this one. Ah, so pretty. That was a good choice. So again, paint the egg shape. And then just fill up those empty spaces. As you can see it, I'm not too bothered about um, the pigmentation of the gel polish in those higher places here. I'm more bothered about the pigmentation at the edges of my egg. I think it also looks uh, nicer. And I'm also not creating a perfect shape on the bottom either uh, because we are going to add some fits in there. Fit, fits in there. Okay, so we've got another egg painted and the next one is going to be pink. I think we can do lashes on this one as well. <laughs> That's a really pretty pink too and it's a 238 guys. So again paint the shape of the egg. Color it in. You know, we're painting this design actually on three different versions. So on the clients, I would do it on the ring fingers uh, only. I wouldn't do it on every single nail. I think it will be a bit too much and it will be also quite time consuming, but doing so on the ring finger would be just a fantastic option for an Easter nails. And because you can do it, it's so customized, it almost reminds me of those uh, gnomes. I don't even probably pronounce it right. I hope, guys, because you have been correcting me on this one for so many, uh, so many times. Okay, step number two. We need to add the feet and we need to add the ears. So the first ear is coming up in here. And it's a wee bended one. Leave some empty space for a pink color. Like we want some nice and pink color go inside there. And then the other ear can go like this. And a cute fit. So the fit, uh, don't go too close to the place where we've got the face, okay? Straight away I'm leaving those empty space for a pink color. And the other fit comes here. Here we are. We've got another cute fit. Using the same color and the top coat, uh, I'm going to slightly start shading the things. There we are. So the same color and with the top coat because we want to start giving a little shadow there, here and there. So just a bit here, a bit there. You want to give some shadow maybe on the bottom as well. 
and then cook it. So this one can have slightly different ears. And then give it a nice bend. Do the same here. Nice bend. And the feet. Let's do some large and pretty ear. And another one. And a fit. This is gonna be a girl. I think we we turn this one into the girl. <laughs> Absolutely, this will be a girl. <clears throat> okay, think number two. We we actually almost done with this design, so it isn't even as that time consuming for the detail we are working with. Now I have added a drop of the white into my pink and I'm start coloring the feet. Still using the same, same brush. Then the toes, one, two, three. Make them first tiny and then if you've got the room you can slightly pre, uh, make them bigger. Color in the space inside here. The space where we've got ears and so does here, the empty one. And again, when I'm doing so, I can change the shape uh, by painting it more or less, okay? Same in here. So as you can see, the, the things don't look really neat yet. I have dipped it into the darker color as well, so I've got two different shades. Add lots of pink in there. And then the three dots. Cook it in. Okay, next one. It's a time to start adding the details. But also I want to lighten up some places. So again, I'm taking a drop of white and mixing into my turquoise, which I have used a drop of the top coat because top coat works like on water for acrylic paints. And then I'm going to lighten up some places. So lighten it up.
just so the egg is not um, flat. There we are. And then we are going to grab another color, which is black. So the egg is sorted. Then I'm using the black and I'm going like this. You can also use the black to start defining the ears. Don't go too heavy and I've got hardly, uh, guys, any pressure on my brush. And then the feet. By painting with such a bigger um, brush, we also create places where we've got more product and less product. So it's kind of almost works like a shadows as well. And what you can do it if you have done too much, just take a top coat and just blend out like this. Okay, do the same on this top part here. I'm just highlighting those cracks in the egg. Look how the tip of my brush has changed it as well. Like it's really um, really pointy. And I'm not bothered if one place is lighter, one is darker, one is slightly thicker, the other one is thinner. It is absolutely fine. You can even make it a darker in some places, like even just like this, like there we are, much darker. And then add some ice inside. Cameraman, don't move. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Can I move? No, you can't. You can't move, you can't do anything. Uh, there we are. Okay, so we've got the ice. And then quickly. So this one is looking into different direction. I'm actually going to start with those ice. So the ice you want to look up. Okay, so they are placed in a different position. They are looking up, up the way they are. And then those cracks. Look how quickly I'm painting them. This is such a random thing that you don't have to spend much time on it. Doesn't matter if you do it one millimeter this way or one millimeter that way. OK, 
okay, we need to color those ears. So I had to clean my brush, pick up the pink because I was working with the black. I'm actually going to do all the pink. Ah, we don't need pink in here. Okay. So this one, I, we missed those pink bits and pieces. And again, you can see it, I've got different mixture there. Some lighter pink, darker pink. Dark color here, black. And this is a girl, 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 so. One eye. Other eye. Okay, so some places are very, very thin, the other places are much thicker. If you want less black, put the top coat in. And look what I'm doing, I'm just shading it. Top coat. Then add the shadows. Make it look Easter. I had to separate the stall because it was too close to the other places. Okay, we almost at the swap at the stage of swapping to the D-liner brush. Can you, I have added more shadow on this ear. Sorry guys, I'm keep twisting it up and down because it's easier for you to see it than probably than me going like this. <laughs> top coat, top coat. Give those shadow there. Okay. 
This is actually start looking really awesome. Okay. This one is ready for D liner. This one I want to lighten up a little bit. So I have to clean my brush in a white paint because it was used in black or even a top coat. Like you need to just make your brush drink different color. And then pick up those white and go in here, add the drop of the top coat to your pink. And we want to place some lighter, lighter detail here as well. Just in some places like to, to make things prettier. That was a little bit too light. Right there we are, that's a perfect one. Again, just so your, our egg isn't flat. Okay, blend that in. It almost looks like it's more rounded, you know? And then orange one in here, so drop of white, top coat. And then do the same. This is something you don't see really strongly, but guys, like it does make an unbelievable difference. Those lighting. Okay, D liner brush, and let's finish them off. So we are going to use the French gel first because it's white and white is like we want white first on our brush. Because we are going to work with extreme detail, you want to pick up like very small amount of the product on your brush, like really tiny amount of the product. And then let's start painting. We just need to define everything. You can see it, how little product I've got. And I've got a nice brush. We're just painting amazing. Don't worry if it's thicker or thinner. I done it almost for a reason. Same in here. Look, I have left some empty spaces. So I'm not even bothered about outlining the entire crack, just in some places here and there. You can almost kind of even pick up the, the places which you don't like. Okay, then the feet. Okay, the feet has to be really well defined in this place. Because that's the place where it's joining with the egg. Make it wiggly on the top. Then separate the toes a little bit and the part which is on the top uh, and inside the rounded part. OK, 
again got a good separation from the egg and give some sparkle to the toes at now this is my biggest mistake that's how I damage sometimes my brush I wanted to do the dot inside the eye with my brush you cannot do that Okay, so two cute dots. And then let's cook it. Uh, I'm going to use an additional color here which is orange. To paint some flower. Don't make the ears uh, separate from the egg. You want the ears to be uh, actually there. Together with the egg. Okay, very quick paint again. Don't bother if you miss some places. Make that thinner, thicker. It is absolutely fine. Tiny bit in here. Painting is, is making me really relax. Like absolutely love those kind of stuff. Like a separated from the egg. Now I need to clean my brush because what I start filling is it kind of st starts stopping in some places. It doesn't twist nice and if it does that, that means it has too much product. There we are. Now I can kind of curve it better. I don't know how to say it. Like it's just behaving different. Fantastic, I'm happy, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one as well. I'm, I'm actually very happy with this one. There again, two cute dots inside. And finish the lady one. <laughs> Let's finish her. Okay, so add the detail in there. I 
and then paint the flower. What I did, I dragged my brush into pink. And white because I want to create some nice flower here. And I'm just pressing um, harder, lighter. Very pretty. White again. So I need to clean my brush. Of course, because it's a girl, she needs lashes. And we are going to paint those lashes in. That is great. Just the feet. The other one. Clean the brush. We go. Fantastic. Okay, we need to add the eye sparkle. We need to add eyelashes. So black gel polish again. I had to place it on the side so it doesn't mix with the top coat because this is really important. You, you want the black to be quite, quite stiff. And what you do for eyelashes is you press harder, lighter. And touch in the same place. So eventually this place becomes thicker. But your eyelashes are nice and thin. Okay. So we've got cute eyelashes. Remove the product you've got on your brush. And then just outline it a little bit more. I'm using the product which is already on the eyelashes. Kind of just pulling it down a little bit. Freeze her for a couple seconds and we will just do the cheek quickly and then I can coat it the entire design and show you the final result before camera's man hand died off <laughs> I'm holding the camera. He has to actually shake it, it guys. <laughs> Is it that long video? Oh, he shows me it's a 14 minutes like already. Oh gosh, I'm sorry guys But I got too hooked up into painting and then I never come the time So I have picked up the pink 
and the top coat, lots of top coat. And we are just going to give her those pink cheeks. Oh, that's such a cute egg. And just since we've got some black in there, I need to just add it touch of black through the rose. I wanted to do the flowers, but then I changed it into the rose. So there we are. I have to because otherwise it wouldn't go with the design. Just such a small details like, you know, make a huge difference. So this is a bit of shadowing here and there. And ta-da! Okay, that's our X finish it. Let add more shadow. I could play like and uh, make it prettier and prettier with every single touch of the brush. But no, that's enough. Uh, that's enough. We need to top coat it. Once we pick the top coat, Sphinx looks always much prettier again. So grab the top gel. We should go with those black around those eyes as well. But it's fine. That that's will do. That's will do. So top coat in. And we've got first egg completely ready. could also do it have uh, 3D, like we could add some 3D to it as well, like those flowers in there. This is so cool. Cute. <laughs> and then the last, I actually like this one as well, the color combination, the orange um, color looks really nice with the pink and the gray. Like it really does, looks awesome. So let's cook it too. And then I can show you all three together. Okay, so the first one should be nice and ready. Here we are. If you liked it, this video, guys, just hit the share button so the other can see others can see it as well. And uh, also all the products I have used it in this video are available on our website as well. So that's our first egg. Then we've got the girl one. Here we are, kit lashes, <laughs> and then this one as well. I love really this color combination of the middle one. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I can see them all three together. That's what we have created today. And I hope you have really enjoyed this video. Glittery hacks and bye for now.